Good morning. Just leaving camp here. Nice place to be. Um, another 20 on the books, and then we'll be into the whites. Going to Misty Mountain today. So, cool. Let's get out of here, and then we'll be on trail. There we are, on trail. All right. All right. Made it to Smarts Mountain. I'll go to the top of that here soon. I'm gonna make some uh, lunch here. Thirteen oh one. Well, all right, walking up. Oh, fuck, it's cold out here. Wow, just look at the views already. Is there enough room up there for me? Thanks. I was like, I thought it was supposed to be heavy. It was heavy. <laughs> yeah, but then it was like magically. Yeah, so lighting. Amazing. Careful. <laughs> I can't believe you have to like send them in. Oh, I haven't tried that. I like the fine lab. I've been using the dark room though because I got like a deal. So I had like some credit. Look at gelatin labs. They're so good. And you're, you're a photographer too, so you're going to appreciate, like, they have, uh, I mean, like, the disposables, you don't really need all the options that they have, but they'll, like, push or pull your... Yeah, when I shoot... So awesome. Let's go. All right, here we go. Going to the Mount Cube Summit. 4.4 miles. It says true 3.1. I don't know. Let's see what my far out says. I don't know. My far out says 3.8. So at least it's not 4.4. <sighs> but I don't know. 3.1's a lie, too. They're both lies. Oh, well. Don't trust anybody. Just get up there and walk it, I guess, right? Whew. And it is straight up and then a little bit down and steady up to get to Mount Cube. Let's get Mount Cube over with. The view from Eastman's Ledge. Glad we're getting good weather. Come up through these. You can see, you can see more mountains right behind all these other mountains. Probably the best picture right there. Very cool. Wow, you can almost see 380 degrees out here. Beautiful. It's not going to rain on us. All right, Mount Cube. It's raining on me up here. Let's get off the top, I guess. Whew. Mount Cube. 2909 elevation. There's my boys. Let's uh, figure out where I'm going here. We're out here in the rain. Camp Musilaki. Look at the moose. So cool.
Oh, what is it gonna be raining out for? Thought we were done with the rain. Uh, it was gonna be nice all through New Hampshire. Oh well. Says you almost missed Mount Mist. 2330. And look at that. There is a campsite for me. This is where uh, I planned on stopping for the day, and I'm glad there is a place to tent. It's awesome. Alright, let's get it set up. <laughs> All right, leaving camp. Stayed up here at uh, Mount Mist. There, Mount Mist. And off to the first part of the White Mountains. This basically starts the White Mountains. So, first mountain to tackle today is Mount Musilaki. So, I'm going to just do that. I'm going to go up it, come down it. It's 11 some miles and go to a hostel and re do a resupply. I'm out of food. Eesh. I have enough food for today, but um, no more after that, though. So definitely need to get in town, get some food, talk to them, see what, like, what a good strategy is to get through the White Mountains. And I should be... Uh, should be all right. I think uh, my buddy was like, get three and a half days of food and then rely on the the huts basically for your breakfast and um, dinners or whatever. I don't know how that works, but if I do stay in a uh, in a hut every time I get down one of these mountains, then yeah, that would work perfect. Because then they do they give me a dinner when I get in there and then they give me a breakfast. So really all I have to do is worry about lunches and snacks. So peanut butter and jelly would be just fine for all that. Um, so hopefully this town has enough stuff or at least a store so I don't have to resupply through them. But uh, we will see. All right, it's my first river crossing. I'm gonna try to go like this way and then come back. Try to get where it's a little bit more shallow. But I really didn't want my feet to get wet today. But they're gonna. See, already wet. And it's freezing. All right, let's get it over with. All right, this is the start of Mount Musilaki, right after that river crossing. So let's go up it with wet feet. Awesome. Great place to camp. So cool. Mushrooms everywhere. All right, sitting at about the midpoint of Musilaki. It's cold up here. Um, but 1802 is where I'm at right now. So another milestone, 1800 miles down. So let's go hit the whites. There's, when I get out of the whites, it should be around 1900. So I got 100 miles in the whites. 10 miles a day almost, 10, 13 miles a day. Uh, I don't like this new trash stick I got. It's like white. <laughs> Weird. But um, yeah, moving right along. Let's go get this uh, summit. Alright, this is what I get to see. Just a never ending uphill. Whew. In Bunch of Rocks. Mount Musilaki. We're almost to the top. All right, we're almost to the top of Musilaki. But look at this. Just the clouds rolling through all these pine trees. How cool is that? 
Rico. Um, I think I got about a half more mile or so to get to the top, but you know, it's all fogged in, so at least it's not raining. That's good. But it's like Christmas up here. It's exactly the kind of Christmas tree that I buy and cut down every year. But I got a fake one now, unfortunately, because they rot and uh, mold in my house too quickly. So don't need that anymore. All right. And my view. Well, here's my uh, view on the way down, at least. Everything's kind of clearing up. I wish I would have stayed up there a little bit longer. Just look at it. It's awesome. Just ripple after ripple. So pretty. Almost 5,000 feet up in the air I was. Cool. Well, at least we got some kind of view. like the beginning of the falls here. I got a half mile to get to the falls and then like another half mile or so to get to the parking lot for my day to be done. This is a long, uh, man, just wandering up these rocks all day. It takes a long time because you don't want to go too fast. So I'm doing about maybe one mile an hour. It's a slow go process. You don't want to hurt yourself, especially on the, you know, 1800 miles in as well. So, you know, maybe take more risk if you're uh, not doing a through hike. I've seen other guys just kind of running down these rocks. So we'll see, you know, I'm, moving pretty fast right now but it's because um kind of lends itself to it i'll move fast when i can but when it's straight down and the rocks are just you know not really there so whew, half mile down to the falls and then another so another mile plus and my day's over with. Ten mile day it took me forever. Slow going. Get to the falls, but this looks like a waterfall to me. Cool. At least the bottom will look pretty cool. Point three to get to the actual falls. You got the boardwalks, and it's slippery probably through here. I bet you if it gets really rainy, it... Hey, we get a view as well. Awesome. Beautiful out today. And the trees are changing color. Some of them. Oh. Alright, out here at uh, Beaver Brook Falls. Beautiful out here. Finally made it down to it. Woo! Took a while. Saw a moose though? Totally worth it. Beautiful. Hopefully the rest of my day is pretty touristy. Considering this is like 
what most people would come to see and then turn around and go back. So I'm hoping they kind of helped out the scenery there. All right, I got like 0.7 left for the day. Oh my God, it's a moose. Hi, moose. It literally just walked up on here. How cool is this? I've been waiting to see a moose all this time. Where do you want to go? Because uh, I guess I got to just wait for you. Did you want to come back this way? Uh-oh. Just chilling there. Come on, get. So I can get going. How awesome is this? It's huge. I wonder if there's more of them. Too bad I can't get his face. Come on. Get moving. Come on, get. Where were you gonna go? Or are you just taking a rest? Cause you just came uphill, like crazy uphill. Come on. Holy goodness. So there's the butt end of a moose. That just doesn't want to move. There he is. He's just looking at me. Hi, Moose. Did you want to come this way? Just not moving whatsoever. I thought at least he'd just like kind of wander off. Come on, where are you going? Hanging out. <sighs> well, I thought seeing a moose would be cool, but now it's just like he's just taking his time. Hi. Can you get moving so I can go? I want to get to this hostel. Look at that, he turned his head all the way. <whistles> yeah, yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know what else to say to it. Can you get moving? Super majestic. Well, he moved when I kind of moved up on him. There we go. At least I got a better view of you now. 
Come on, keep going. Show me the way. Show me the way out. Are you thirsty? There he goes, straight up the mountain. How awesome is that? Bye, buddy. Can I get through? How awesome is that? Pretty cool. Oh, he's even in the shot anymore. You can barely see him. Don't really want to go by him until he goes a little bit further into the woods. Can I go by you? Or are you going to freak out on me? Hi, buddy. All right, I'm just gonna try. I go right by you, all right? And freak out. Pretty close to him right now. I think I'm in the clear. Bye, buddy. Thank you for letting me get by you. That was scary.